Hello chums, Robert Ross, Britain's comedy historian here with another Robert Ross Recommends film. It's back to our dear friends at Network DVD and their inexhaustible pleasure they bring with the British film collection. This one is a gorgeous Ealing comedy called The Love Lottery, freshly minted on Blu-ray and DVD, the British film collection. It's a little bit um, underestimated, The Love Lottery. It's not in the same league as the classics, much talked about Ealing comedies like The Lambda Hill Mob and Passport of Pimlico and The Lady Killers. And I think probably because it's a bit uh, of a broader spectrum. This film takes us to gorgeous locations in Italy and it's in full gorgeous colour and it takes us to Hollywood and it taps in to all sorts of uh, questions of the nature of fame and film celebrity. So if you're watching stuff like The Masked Singer and The Voice UK, this is very much about reality and uh, celebrity becoming sort of uh, overblown by the public, the public going crazy about uh, famous film stars. Beautifully and laudably, David Niven, a very famous film star, of course, plays another very famous film star in this, who puts himself up as first prize in a lottery. You basically get to marry David Niven. Oh yes, ladies, if you want to fancy marrying David Niven, buy this film. It's gorgeous, gorgeous film. I saw this film probably, gosh, 40 years ago on television, and it's not been seen for a long, long time. So thanks to Network DVD to bring this out on luscious Blu-ray. The picture quality is amazing. The Italian location work on this, mm, gosh, it makes you want... You yearn for travel. This is almost like a uh, an escape uh, into reality. You can watch some lovely Italian footage on this. Um, and again, uh, the actual satire of it is so clever. There's another Ealing comedy film called Meet Mr. Lucifer, which sends up television, uh, written by Arnold Ridley, who went on to play Private Godfrey in Dad's Army, of course. But this one sends up Hollywood and the very nation, the very notion of celebrity. David Niven playing his part very much like his dear friend Errol Flynn here. Um, it's almost a little bit like a precursor to My Favourite Year, where Peter O'Toole played a sort of Errol Flynn type swashbuckling hero too. But this is absolutely luscious. And one of the, the dearest most cherishable things about this is because I've been watching this film uh, for years and years and years it's an early film credit for Hattie Jakes now forgive me I might have blinked and missed her when I watched the film I never see Hattie Jakes in this at all but on this you get also the film trailer and Hattie is in the trailer um, they use a, sm a small shot of her as a sort of a black toothed maid um, which David Niven's trying to escape from but she's definitely in the trailer so she's shot some work for this film um, so she's there after what is it 60 65 years uh, I've, I've finally sort of tracked down a little bit of Hattie Jakes now so it's gorgeous the one down on this if you've never seen this film before and you're buying this uh, from Network DVD for the very first time either on Blu-ray or DVD um, do not please do not read the blurb on the back because it gives away a major plot spoiler uh, I'm not going to say anything more about it, but there's somebody in this film um, who you don't know about until the end. But you will know about it if you read the back of this uh, sleeve, OK? I'm just saying that. Now, everybody's going to look at the sleeve now. And I'm going to ruin it. But anyway, it's a, it's a gorgeous ending. For me, uh, it's up there with The Man in the White Suit as a wonderful Ealing comedy ending. Um, and the big baddie in this, the big sort of um, uh, money uh, motivated character is played by Herbert Long, who's always gorgeous. A year or so before he came back to Ealing to make, of course, The Lady Killers. So this is essential. If you love your Ealing comedies, you love British film, by David Niven in The Love Lottery. See you next time.